We've got a whole generation of people. We've got uh, several of generations of people that we've grown raised in the rest Western world who are rejecting God mm. over this problem of evil right. thing. Right. Uh, they see a lot of this suffering and tragedy in the world. They see suffering and tragedy in their own life. And they think they've been told a view of God's sovereignty that basically says God gets his way exactly the way he wants it at all places, at all times, in all seconds on planet Earth. And so if that, mm -hmm. is, if that is your paradigm, and that's sort of what I call the cartoon uh, Hollywood uh, caricature of God's sovereignty, mm -hmm. that he's always getting his way, mm -hmm. that in everything that happens, uh, that God is somehow either causing it or allowing it because it's part of his plan. Right. If that is your paradigm, then you really do have a God is good problem. Mm -hmm. And we've presented that problem to generations of people. One of these paradigm shifts that we have to, to understand is that God is sovereign in the fact that he's moving history to the ends that he has predetermined. He, his, history and, and uh, the, the, the flow of events will ultimately culminate the way just as God has ordained. But he's smart enough and brilliant enough to allow people to choose, to allow people free will. We're living in a broken world filled with broken people. Mm -hmm. And if you go all the way back to the garden, what you find is God delegating dominion authority to this planet, to humans. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so what God is doing and has done is played within, he's played within the rules, so to speak, of, of the system that he created when he delegated right. freedom of free will right. to Adam and Eve. So he's, he's moving things uh, to, the, to the ends that he's determined, but in between the cracks of that are a lot of people choosing things that God would not have them choose right. and uh, a broken creation that is yet to be redeemed. So for example, uh, you know, r right this moment, there is something, and I don't mean to get overly heavy on us, but right now, this very moment, there's something unspeakable being done to a child somewhere mm. right. as we sit here. Right. And that is not God's will. Right. God is not in any part of that. Yeah. Uh, he would not have that happen. And what he wants to do, because he decided to partner with Adam and Eve in his plan for the earth, which uh, went awry because of their freedom to choose, uh, that God has been restoring through his son, Jesus Christ. Uh, he's chosen to partner with us. And that's the exciting thing about mm -hmm. prayer. That not only solves the problem of evil because he's allowing us to choose and creation is broken, but it also explains why, um, uh, explains why he, not only should we pray, God needs us mm -hmm. to pray. Uh, he is, um, he has chosen yeah. to need us. Right.